students, I want to take an opportunity to uh, welcome you to LUOA, Liberty University Online Academy, the 2019-2020 academic year. And I am so excited uh, to have the privilege of being one of your teachers for your science courses in particular. Uh, and I'm looking forward to, to a great year uh, ahead of us. Uh, so I want to just take a couple of minutes and introduce myself uh, to you and talk a little bit about myself and my work and my family. And then we'll take uh, an opportunity to talk about the class and some specifics uh, in terms of uh, succeeding in your studies and your endeavors. Uh, my name is Mr. Biet, and I have been teaching uh, science classes. Uh, and really all different kinds of classes since 2001 I have been uh, in the classroom. My family and I spent uh, the last five years in central Virginia and I was teaching there. Uh, but just recently uh, we've had the exciting opportunity to move to Fairbanks, Alaska uh, where I have the honor of pastoring a small mission church in the Fairbanks area while I also have the privilege of being your teacher uh, in your science classes. And, and I teach uh, a whole bunch of different science classes with LUOA. Uh, in particular, uh, in this video, I am uh, introducing you to uh, the biology class. Uh, a little bit more about myself. Uh, I have always been interested in science. I uh, studied biology and chemistry in particular in college had the opportunity to uh, do some research uh, immediately after college, uh, specifically in microbiology and molecular biology. Um, and I've also taught uh, classes from uh, Bible uh, and history and Greek and logic to various different sciences and even uh, to nursing students. I've had the opportunity to teach uh, anatomy and physiology and microbiology and pharmacology and biomedical ethics. And so I, I think this is just a great all-around opportunity for us uh, to learn and uh, to study. My family and I, uh, we, we do a lot of things together. Uh, I'm, I'm married. I have four uh, wonderful children, uh, ages ranging from uh, seven up to about 13 or so. Uh, and uh, we just have a great time, uh, especially in the outdoors. Uh, camping and hunting and fishing. Uh, I've been involved in, in church activities my whole life uh, and I have just been thrilled uh, with the opportunities uh, that are before me uh, working with students like you uh, through Liberty University Online Academy and I think it's just a, a great way and a great opportunity uh, for you as a student and myself as the teacher to be able to connect and interact uh, even from long distances. Um, so feel free uh, to take the time to introduce yourself uh, to me and uh, to ask any questions uh, that you might have. Um, uh, one thing I want to make clear and make certain that uh, we are studying uh, creation uh, from a biblical worldview. And I think that that is really important, and I think the study of biology uh, really lends itself to that. But all sciences do, uh, as Paul tells us in Romans chapter 1, uh, verse 20, for his, meaning God's invisible attributes, namely his eternal power and uh, divine nature, have been clearly perceived ever since the creation of the world in the things that have been made. But what a powerful verse. Uh, as we begin the study of science, to be reminded that we are not just studying science because it's a, a high school class that we have to take, but rather we're studying science because we can know something about God by looking at what he made. And that's what Paul is telling us. Now, we understand that, that we can't know things perfectly, about God and we need special revelation, we need the Bible to, to fill in the details, but it's just a wonderful testimony to God's faithfulness that we can look at what he made and see things about him in that. 
And I think, I think the study of biology, which we're going to be doing in this class, whether you're in biology for a whole year or you're in a first semester or a second semester, you know, biology is, is the study of life. And we are going to look at all the different components. It is so vast. It is so amazing. Uh, we're just going to be um, floored by what we can see as we look at cells as we look at plants, as we look at animals, as we look at the processes, the chemical, the chemistry processes that take place within biological systems so that uh, life can actually exist in the variety uh, that there is. Uh, and these are just some of the things that we're going to be looking at and we're going to be studying. Uh, and I'm so excited to have the opportunity to, to do this with you and to look at these things. So let me share with you uh, just a, a few uh, tips that I have for students. There's three uh, that I think are important. Number one, study daily. Uh, do not, and, and I've, I've told this to every student I've had from college uh, down through uh, middle school, you can't learn stuff by, by uh, trying to get it all in in one night before a test. Review daily. Complete and submit your assignments on time. Completing and submitting your assignments in the LUOA uh, way of doing things is going to lead you to daily study. The two are hand in hand and it's going to help you. And then the third thing is ask me for help when you need it. That's why I'm here. Um, you know, it's going to be important that you know and you understand your student handbook and, and all the ways to connect and to reach out. But at the end of the day, I'm the teacher and I'm specifically here so that I can help you. The last thing I want to do is just go through and grade stuff. I want to answer questions. You shouldn't submit something to me if you have a question about it first. You shouldn't submit something if you have a concept that you're unsure of. You should always reach out to me because I want you to succeed in these studies. And to that end, one of the last things I need to make sure that you know is in terms of office hours, office hours are basically as you need it. You reach out to me and we can set up a time to have a conference call or a video conference and we can talk about those things that maybe you're struggling with or maybe you're unsure about whether it's an assignment or whether it's a concept and I can help you get to where you need to be. My goal is for you to succeed in this class and I'm thrilled uh, to have the opportunity uh, to do that. So uh, my prayer as we go forward uh, is that we study biology, we study life as it has been given by God and the processes and the ways and the intricacies that all point to a creator and that we learn about it and we learn more importantly about him by studying these things. I'll leave you with one last little uh, note here. Antoine uh, von Leeuwenhoek, who was a Dutch Christian, is remembered as the father of microbiology. We have our understanding of the cell today and all the complexities that we now know about because of his work in discovering the cell. And he was doing that work and studying those things because he understood that it was made by God, created by God, and he could maybe more fully have a picture of God by studying these things. And so I hope that that encourages you. I'm going to pray, and then I'm looking forward to, to a great class. Heavenly Father, I pray for these students and the opportunity that we have. Lord, I ask that you would be with them as we move into this new school year and that you would guide and direct them, Lord, and that you would help me and give me wisdom that we may study to show ourselves approved. We thank you. We ask for your grace and mercy in this work. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. And God bless.